Well, I'm here to give you a little bit of a weather update. It sucks here in Ontario. Uh, just cold enough for some of the ice. Exactly, that's what I'm talking about. Just cold enough for some of the ice not to melt and warm enough for one turn to be muddy. What happens is there's a lot of water in that turn. It sits on the track and it broke down the ice and it's all mud. The rest of the track, this much ice. Now the good news is it is going to warm up, but not before tomorrow. So unfortunately, it looks like for the first time ever, we're going to be quite a ways between drone sets, uh, drone days. The last one was two weeks ago. The next one can't be until open house day. And the reason being, Curtis has gone away for three weeks starting on Thursday. And there's just absolutely no possible way I could even attempt to jog or have any horses look professional in any capacity. I know it's bothering me too, I'm really sorry. There's just no way for us to, to believe that the horses can look in any sort of way professional tomorrow on this track. It's really not the track's fault. I'd like to, you know, everybody wants to blame somebody, but when, when you get a lot of snow and then you get minus one, two temperatures, mix in some rain, and then have that continue for a week, there's nothing you can do. You can't get on the track with the tractor to break up the ice because you'll sink into the track. What are you doing? You can't. You can't just take the ice off. Um, you know, I think we've jogged everything. Everything's jogging. There's a spot, you know, that you can get through, but certainly not even remotely utter the words train. So Kevin took some to train at Mohawk today, I believe. Jason's going to take some tomorrow. The racehorses are fine. We can just zip over to Mohawk. That's the one beautiful thing about being here is that when things are bad, you still have Mohawk. So um, can't do the drone tomorrow. I apologize. I know it's, 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 it's very frustrating, isn't it? Very frustrating. We simply just can't risk. Um, it just wouldn't, it wouldn't be prudent. And nobody would gain anything from it. Certainly not the horses. So why would we do it? I know. You tell them. So uh, as it is, uh, the drone will be on open house day, December 15th. Uh, I just heard back I'll be on the Meadowlands in the sulky on friday the 13th saturday we'll try and get on the woodbine show here we have a dinner for all our clients on saturday august or saturday december this is august saturday december the 14th are you driving do you want me to go saturday december the 14th and then the open house on the 15th so my deepest apologies for this but once again, Mother Nature does not care what I think. So as far as the racing is concerned, Trafalgar, a little shocking. She got beat last night, but I had watched in race one and two where the one to five favorite, another big favorite, got beat on the front end. The track was deep, but when you are a one to five, what are you supposed to do? I, I knew that I had to be first or second last night, preferably first to make it in the final. As it turns out, we made it in with a second. But... Um, uh, when you when you have to pretty much win and you're one to five there's really only one place to be especially on a half mile track I put her up front she was a little ornery if you watch the first half of the mile I was fighting with her uh, she was shaking her head and got one of her earplugs out before the gate and I didn't want to put it back in because she was shaking her head and I didn't want to bother her and it turned out she was just a little hot a little warm that's okay we can rectify a few things for the final I'm certainly not concerned I think she's still a very very good horse and to be honest Probably the best horse in the field. So, um, we'll know. I guess we'll find out if I'm right or not next Monday. So, Trafalgar was beaten. The night before, Sunshine and Shade wasn't. I told you guys we were going to train up, change up his training regiment. He was on his toes last uh, on Sunday night and raced very, very well on the front end. I suspect a similar journey for the final and hopefully a similar result. So, Sunday was good. Monday was pretty good. We get nothing tonight. Cabernet from the far outside again. I will not be re repeating my tactic of the front end with her this week. She's got the seven hole. You're probably going to see her get away seventh. Try and close up and get some money that way. The outside post two weeks in a row is a little tough to take on a half mile track. But we'll see how Cabernet, how Cabernet does. So Addy and I, we've inspected the track. We've watched the horses jog. We did our video. Now we got to go back down and get mummy for lunch. I will talk to you guys soon. Uh, sorry about the video is getting out a day late. 
I was just had a lot of things to do and I was preoccupied. I actually recorded them on Saturday and meant to send them out on Sunday and forgot. Didn't want to send them out off of Wi-Fi so they couldn't be sent till Monday afternoon, in which case Kelly sent it out on Tuesday. So, uh, we have a lot of big announcements coming up as we usually do this time of year. Uh, some really interesting ones and a couple that are really cool. Uh, they're a few weeks away yet, so around open house time. But for right now, uh, the biggest news is we can't drone. It's bad news. We can't drone tomorrow. But at the same time, the horses look good. Everybody's doing their work like a professional. This is tough to do. You got horses that are broken recently. We still have three horses that just got shoes on that haven't been broke yet. Uh, Jazzy Judy, uh, Trafalgar's brother, uh, yeah, Capistrano's brother, and a horse named Italian Grit, a Guccio colt that came from Ohio. It's an Indiana bred. Those four horses haven't even hit the track yet. So a lot to do before the open house, right, Mom? Right? Yeah. A lot to do before the open house, and um, we'll get it done. So a busy week for me, a stressful week in, in, in a number of senses, but we'll get through it, and uh, we'll get everybody raced this week also. A couple of bit, uh, some, some bigger news. Cavill Hanover will be schooling on Thursday in uh, preparation of his start at Woodbine next week, hopefully. And uh, West 52nd will be schooling on Thursday as well. He's been off a few weeks. Rather than just put him in the straight nominers of three, we're going to school him once first. He'll be in to go next week. And then, obviously, everybody that's been racing will also be back in to go this coming week. Oh, <gasps> drop your sucky. Anyway, talk to you guys soon for Addie Bear. Who's that? Hey, who's that? Is that Addie Bear? <laughs> for Addie and Daddy, talk to you guys soon.